Hi again, YouTubers. So this is a review on a product that I picked up after I had seen a woman that I follow on Instagram whose name is the trendy makeup artist um, talking about this. And it is the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. And I did buy the full size. There is an option on Sephora's website to purchase it in a travel size. But this is what it looks like. It comes with a sifter here. And actually that sifter, you can either take the sticker off of it or do like I did and I just poked a couple holes into it. And I found those holes to be much more just easy to work with and get the right amount of product out. Um, now I have a lot of different translucent powders, you know, Makeup Forever HD, I think there was a NARS one back in the day, uh, Chanel loose powder, I've had a bunch of IT Cosmetics ones, all different kinds of ones. And so I was always like, I don't need that. And I've heard people talk about it, but I was like, no, it's, it's fine. It's just a translucent powder. And then she mentioned something in one of her posts about the fact that this is great for any skin type and the fact that it helps you look more youthful and more radiant and it doesn't settle into fine lines. And I was like, okay, now I got to try it. Right? So the one ounce one, which is this one here, which is the standard size packaging is $38. And then they sell a 0.33 ounce one that is the travel size one for $23. Now I was like, mm, $10 difference, get a lot more product. I can always toss this into a little container if I need to take it somewhere with me. That was my thought process. Um, it is good for all skin types. Uh, as I said, you could buy it at Sephora, Nordstrom's, any high-end department store that carries Laura Mercier pretty much. Um, it is a lightweight, silky sheer setting powder with a flawless finish that uses cashmere talc. Now that's the key. The cashmere talc makes it so that it is a flawless finish and does give you that beautiful, beautiful look without looking cakey, powdery, or too dewy one way or another. It is non-drying, so it is good for all skin types, but it also isn't an issue if you're a combination oily like I am. It doesn't dry you out, but it also doesn't make you look oily. It still soaks in those oils because of the talc. I will insert a clip here of how I apply it. Any big fluffy brush will work to apply this product. It is translucent. I think it has a very, very, very slight tint of something to it. I can't put my finger on it. It is so, so, so slight, um, but it is just gorgeous. It is not something that you're going to notice, but it just looks beautiful. Um, they do say it has a light reflecting ingredient in it, which I'm assuming is the cashmere talc. Um, soft focus appearance, which is very true. It gives you a very soft diffused look, um, reduces that appearance of any um, flaws or fine lines or anything like that. It just really diffuses them well uh, and it smooths away fine lines, they say. Do I think it smooths away fine lines? No, but do I think it makes them less noticeable? Yes. Um, it does have that slight bit of color, as I mentioned, but it's not something that if you are darker or lighter skin tone is going to add to your skin coloring or take away from your skin coloring either way. This product is something that is totally worth getting and trying. It is different, totally, totally different than any of those other translucent powders I have tried. It has a different feel to it. It is much smoother, much just has that great feel. And it doesn't give that flashback that a lot of those like Makeup Forever HD, sometimes that powder, if you put too much of that powder on in pictures, it can give you a weird flashback. And the Chanel one just doesn't have that same smooth feel. The Chanel one is very nice and has a nice look to it, but I never fell in love with it. I just grabbed it every once in a while when I wanted a translucent powder. This one gives you a beautiful, it's like those Laura Mercier mineral powders that we love or I loved forever and I still have them. And they're just those items that you look at and it just does something different that you can't put your finger on from other mineral powders. That's the difference with this translucent powder. It just does something that when you wear it, it just looks healthy. It looks like skin. It looks beautiful. It looks radiant, but it doesn't look greasy or oily or gross or anything like that. So I am in love with this. Love with it. It is amazing. Let me give you a little bit of my breakdown. Pigmentation. I'm going to say it's a four out of five because it does have a slight, 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 they call it translucent, but it does have some sort of slight color to it, 
almost a little bit of a yellow undertone, which might be slightly color correcting, but man, it's awesome. So I'll give it a four out of five. Texture. You cannot beat the texture of this. I think I put it into so many words already in this video. It is just so smooth. Like even my finger where I touched it, I just keep going like this. It just feels so amazing. The texture is five out of five. Longevity, it's a good solid four and a half out of five. As I said, I'm oily combination. It stays throughout the day. Every once in a while, I'll notice right on my forehead is really the only place. And I'm usually oily through here and through here and on my nose a little bit. Right here is the only place that I slightly see it every once in a while, but nothing like I used to use pigmented powders to set my foundations and those broke down. This does not break down as much. It just looks great. Longevity is four and a half out of five. Application, good solid five out of five. You can apply this any way you want. You can use a puff, you can use a brush, any brush will work. There is no key figure on this. There is no certain way you have to do it or certain brush you need. You can do it any way you want to. So five out of five. Packaging, I think packaging's cute. It's four out of five. Um, I would say the only thing is I wish they had, you know how Bare Minerals has that like sifter that turns and actually Laura Mercier, their mineral powders have the sifter that turns. I wish they had that on this because I put in one, two, three, four, five, six holes and sometimes I've really, really, really got to work at it to get some out. Other times it works easily. So packaging is just four out of five. Color, I'm not going to give you a rating on color because there really is no rating on that. Price, it's a good solid four and a half out of five. If you just want to try it, you can get a travel size. If you want to try the bigger one for the extra $10, um, but $38, this is going to last you forever. You don't need much of this to set your makeup. So this is going to last forever. So it's a good solid four and a half out of five. Product overall. Again, I think it's a solid four and a half out of five. I think that it just gives you a beautiful, beautiful look. It is perfect for anyone, young, older, middle range, whatever. It works for everything. If you don't have fine lines and wrinkles, it still will be a beautiful setting powder. If you have fine lines and wrinkles, it's an added bonus that it helps that you can't see them as much because it gives that soft diffused look. So I think this is a great product for the $38. You can't beat it. So good solid four and a half out of five. I don't give it a five out of five because sooner or later, I'm sure there's something else that I'm going to love more. But right now I use this every single day and I love it. I can't go without it. So I hope you guys found this review helpful. Please let me know if you have any other questions and let's see here what I am wearing on my face. Other than that, I have on Guerlain Les Ors Primer. I have on the Becca Complete Coverage Foundation, Tarte CC Corrector. I have on Lancome Waterproof Concealer under my eyes, the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder all over. I have on the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani Blush Palette. I have on that as a bronzer. There is a bronzer in there. And then I have on the bottom two right ones as my blush, Hourglass Euphoric Light Strobe Powder on my cheekbones, Benefit Gimme Brow on my brows. I have on the Laura Mercier Eye Basics in Buff on my lids. I have on the Kat Von D Shadow Palette, the top right peach one, the bottom left brown one mixed together in the crease with the bottom right cream one on my brow bone, Bare Minerals Top Shelf Duo, the lighter of the two on my lid, the brown on the bottom left from the Kat Von D palette on my lower lash line, Marc Jacobs Highliner, Laura Mercier Black Ebony Pan Liner, what is it, Chanel Le Volume de Chanel Mascara, on my lips is Sephora Gel Lip Pencil in Nothing But Nude, Anastasia Pure Hollywood Liquid Lipstick, and the Buxom White Russian Lip Gloss. I have on a just chambray shirt that's old from like, it's either, I think it's J. Crew. I think it's J. Yeah, I think it's J. Crew or Gap. I'm not sure which one. Uh, the Bell necklace, which is sideways right now. I have on my uh, signet, no, I'm sorry, my stackable rings, my David Yurman ring, my sparkle cuff, my inspiration cuff, and my cage cuff. And uh, my hair was curled with a Babyliss Pro one and a half inch. And that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know if you have any other questions. And thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye.